this probably is the best value for money multimeter that you can currently purchase. So uh, model number SZ305 and SZ304 and it's actually made by Aneng. So they make quite a lot of different multimeters. So what is the difference between these two models? So the only difference really is that the SZ305 actually comes with NCV. And this is basically what the unit looks like. I have the 304. So it doesn't have NCV, but I wouldn't really spend any more money for the 305 because the NCV on these units is completely useless. And yeah, you really need to spend much, much more money to get a decent NCV on these units. So inside the box, uh, you get a multimeter and it runs from two uh, double, uh, sorry, triple A, A batteries basically. And also it comes with leads. So uh, the leads, uh, I wouldn't say they are the best quality. As you can see, they're <laughs> kind of small, uh, not long in lens as well. And also the quality, yeah, it, it's uh, what you can expect from such a cheap tool. But still, uh, they, I guess, will do a job. So got two leads and a simple manual like this. So uh, actually, I was really surprised by the overall build quality of the plastics of this unit, as actually it feels really, really uh, sturdy and the plastics actually feel very decent quality. Also the stand, it has a stand basically, so you can rest it somewhere. And yeah, I can't really complain about the quality at all, uh, except it feels very lightweight. So there's pretty much like zero weight to this unit. Uh, when it comes to the price, I personally paid uh, only two dollars for this uh, tester, basically. But that was on some special offer. The regular price uh, is around eight or seven dollars, something like that, uh, like ab about ten dollars, basically, and a bit less, basically. And for that price, I do not think you can actually get a better multimeter, basically. So uh, they also uh, produce, the uh, Anning brand produce uh, quite different, a lot of uh, like cheap multimeters. And uh, they even have a bit cheaper ones. However, I wouldn't really suggest those. The build quality on them isn't the best really. And also you can't even test batteries on this, on those basically. On this one, as you can see, it's actually quite advanced for this incredibly cheap price. I would say in the whole range, really this this uh, 304 and 305 basically is the cheapest acceptable quality multimeter that you should purchase. I wouldn't purchase any uh, like lower ones from them. This is already quite cheap one, so it's actually super super cheap one. And as you see, this also is actually more advanced they, than their basically lower end multimeters. Again, this is not like super high end, but they still have even cheaper ones. So uh, also this rotating knob also feels decent. It does have decent sound as well, decent click. And yeah, uh, I can't really complain about the overall uh, feel and build quality of this unit. Maybe uh, like the like the buttons don't feel as premium, but again, still <laughs> you yeah can't really complain. But anyway, uh, this also has got, as you can see, actually fairly fairly decent specs. So you actually do not see uh, most of this stuff on the super cheap units. So I'm actually quite surprised. And yeah, it's actually super cool that you can actually test uh, your batteries very easily on this unit as well. And yeah, absolutely cool. Okay, so let's say you want to test uh, how good is your like battery. So first, simply uh, set it to your battery uh, capacity, basically voltage. Then uh, basically you will need also to connect here, basically these two options here. And yeah, uh, overall these leads, uh, yeah, you can tell that they are uh, kind of cheap. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, for small jobs, I think they will do their job. So again, uh, maybe I wouldn't really do super professional work with this, but for a home amateur, uh, this would be actually, uh, actually really good. And also the screen quality, as you can see, it's actually fairly decent. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it actually responds also pretty, yeah, can't really complain. So yeah, the screen quality, uh, yeah, and the viewing angles again on this unit, 
uh, especially for this price. Uh, yeah, I, you really can't actually complain at all. By the way, I'm not a super professional when it comes to this stuff, so I only use these mold testers for diagnostic basic, basic things, and for me, I think this is uh, really enough. So I have another multimeter, and when actually comparing both, uh, I do not really see any uh, like uh, much difference. If uh, basically, I do not see really any difference between actually. Uh, like a uh, uh, 40 door uh, multimeter and this one uh, for my needs again i'm not basically like a total noob when it comes to this stuff and not a professional basically but when i simply need to diagnose some stuff check something basically uh, it really does uh, pretty much like 99 percent of the stuff i need so again if you're professional probably you will probably laugh at this unit as it's probably not for you but for the average home user uh, you really can't complain, this is actually a great unit for that stuff. Also, I, I struggled to actually find some decent specs and uh, on this multimeter online. So, and actually this manual is really good. So, uh, if you actually want to pause and read what's actually in this manual, feel free to do that. So, I will show you the whole manual and simply pause it if you need to. Okay, on the other side we have some actually some specs of it. Okay, yep. So yeah, overall this actually is a very very decent multimeter, especially considering that you, if for example you make like a new AliExpress account, you can literally purchase this for two dollars, like I did. Sometimes even less. So, but again, normal normal price basically is a bit under ten dollars, and that's basically uh, almost like nothing when it comes to multimeters. And yeah, uh, I really suggest this multimeter. Again, I spent actually quite a long time researching this. And this uh, really was uh, like the cheapest, yet still actually decent enough multimeter for the average user. Which, uh, if you are a professional, again, uh, probably <laughs> you shouldn't purchase this. But for quick home diagnostics, and maybe if you simply want to throw this in your car in emergency, if you if you do not have your regular uh, multimeter, basically, I think then also it will be okay for you. Okay, good luck everyone.